Hi and welcome, this is Justice with Tablet Pro and I'm going to give you a quick overview of our software. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice after you install the software is that if you put your finger on the screen that you can move the cursor just like you would a mouse, uh, a mouse pointer using a trackpad. Now you should see down here that there is an icon and that is where you would turn that on. Uh, if you don't see it you can click in here and you should see inside of this menu, I have mine turned off, but you'll see the icon in there you should be able to right click that and enable that to go on the taskbar. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into settings. The first thing first, uh, we're going to talk about the artist pad. Uh, this beta is beta 35 at the time of this recording. And we've moved a lot of the settings over. The layout of artist pad, you can choose the size right here. I have mine set to medium. I th think that works really well for me. If you click right here, it's going to bring you over to the store app. The store app will give you the opportunity to customize that screen and you're just going to pull down here have medium selected you can also get this from me this will be available uh, this setup inside of the email that you get when you sign up for our beta program uh, I also recommend putting a layout on the full screen I have one set to clear and then I have another one set as left and you can see I have buttons here and then I switch in between those two using a gesture so let me show you how I do that so over here if you go to gestures now I have my five finger gestures rotate left brings you to clear full screen and rotate right brings you to left which is a little confusing but makes sense to me in my head alright all of these gestures uh, are part of the paid beta if you click in here, I have these set to keyboard keys so that I can use the gesture keyboard, which is my favorite tool, um, because I can do all sorts of really neat things using gestures to bring up menus and tools, as well as if I'm online and I want to go to a web page, I can type a single letter in the URL and it'll come right up. And uh, again, this one is also available for you. All right, in order to get this set up, uh, I would recommend using one of these files that I have available for you to get started so that you know uh, how to do that. You also want the entire, the universal settings uh, that is loaded in right here and you select that, click open and that will give you all the settings that I have currently set up. If you're trying to get the uh, simultaneous touch and pen together you're going to want to make sure that these are selected. Uh, some of these, uh, for some of you, may want to disable one of these in order to make sure that yours is working correctly. We have verified that this does work on the Surface Pro 3, the Surface 2, and uh, Wacom Cintiq 24HD-T, as, as well as, I'm sure, countless others that have not uh, sent in confirmations. Alright, so uh, this up here is the Quick Dock. In order to activate this, you would select right here. The Quick Dock can bring up the game controls, as well as the Layout Manager, Full Screen, Artist Pad, and Float. I have my float set to the middle of the window, and I have the opacity turned really far down. You can see right along here, and here is the actual window. If I go inside of Web Browser, there's probably a lot of stuff that you guys don't really care to see but you can see I can scroll like the regular gestures here and then I can use the touchpad here in the center. If you guys have questions on how to do something, uh, most of the time I stay in full screen mode unless I'm drawing and then I, I use the artist pad mode. This is also by the way set to docking. If you right click right up here at the top this will give you that option. And the general settings on here, minimum size of quick panel I have this set to 1 so that this is a really small line. If I set this to a higher number, like 8, and hit apply, you're going to see that when this goes back, this is a much longer bar. You can right click there as well to switch. Over here you can also switch into the other different modes that way. So I have this, again, I have this set to 1 because I like it that way. You can also change the opacity of the buttons here. Artist pad, I have it to 100 because it's docking, which is this right here. 
uh, whatever questions you have, send me a quick email or a long email at justice at tabletpro.net and I will be very happy to help you. All right, good luck and uh, send in those feature requests, rate us in the App Store, and tell all your friends about Tablet Pro.